paperwork will say that my IT lab is not compatible with Macintosh. As of this August, it is, and this is how we get started with it. First, navigate to www.myitlab.com. Now, if you're using Windows, you would take this normal sign-in right here, or if we wanted to register, we would use student, register as student. But, since we're on a Mac, we have to do things just a little bit differently. First, we need to come down here to Mac user, click here. This is now going to set up um, running our Mac uh, with my IT lab. Now there are a couple of differences. First, we have to download a separate application. First is this, Microsoft's, this is their remote desktop client. Now if you are already running Office 2011 for Mac, this program was included in it. If not, download it. All we have to do is click it. Safari starts downloading it. It'll be ready in a second. And all we have to do is open it. Double click. There it goes. It's now opening the remote desktop. And it's been installed. So now that we've done that, we come down here to step two. It says click the button to download the RDP file. This is the remote desktop protocol file. So we're going to click it. It's going to download it. Now you will have to do step two, I think, every time um, you tend to go into my IT lab. Uh, you don't have to do step one, you only have to do it the first time because it's just to install the software. So now that this is opened, here we go, Remote Desktop Connect, double click it. It's going to start the Remote Desktop Client, there it is, it's giving me the uh, IP address in a second. Server name on the certificate is incorrect, just ignore this, hit connect anyway. And now it might take a second. Pearson's got around uh, the differences on Mac and PC by using a, a virtual Windows client. And it's connected through somebody else's servers. Now, we might sit at this gray screen for just a couple of seconds as it loads up all the information. So be patient. It will come back. You can see we still have the mouse, it still functions. Come down, I can see my dock without any issue. We just have to be patient. Notice we already have a little start menu down here, just like in Windows. If we click it, we can see all the different information. Notice we are logged in as my IT lab user. So what we have here is our own little virtual windows. Now Come on. And there it is. So we just have to be a little bit patient. Your actual internet connection speed will um, uh, affect how fast this first page loads. Now we'll see My IT Lab the same way we would on a PC. So we're just going to come up to our login name, log in. Oops, messed that up. Type in your password, click login, and voila, we're in. So now we can come over to our class, um, this, enter the class, we go over here to student view, and we can now come over to course content, and there is all of our course content. So you don't have anything to set up on the Mac. The virtual software does it all for us. But we can now get to our textbooks just by clicking. It'll load right up. There we go. There's our virtual textbook. I can come to this week's information. 
the exams, the simulations, all of it will function perfectly fine. I'm going to go back to our course content page. No, log out of the book. There it goes. View all content. Come down to week one. There we go. There's our pretest. Click it. It'll get started. Now, now we might have to. I'm already out of attempts because I tried to use it earlier. But you shouldn't have to do any other updates. Um, that's it. Just complete the uh, the assignments. So it does work perfectly fine through a Mac. Um, sometimes your internet connection uh, will affect how fast it'll actually load up to begin with. So actually going into the modules the first time, you might have to be a little bit more patient. But there it is, my IT lab running on the Mac. Uh, one last thing disconnecting we can log off just we can log off just like normal all we have to do is click uh, log out up here at the top and then we have to close the remote desktop so we can come down to the bottom right click on remote desktop hit quit and it'll take us back that's it that's all there is to it